hello hello and a welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller and this is a research video I have not done a video on teapots in almost a year so I thought I would refresh this for you show you those high dollar teapots that sell for hundreds and thousands of dollars some of them are still the same but there are also some new ones so in this video we're going to start at about 770 dollars and go all the way up to a single teacup that sold for almost ten thousand dollars i am really excited to share this research with you so let's get started right now All right, my friends, we are gonna start off with a teapot at $770. And this one is really, really cute. I will tell you, some of these brands are brands that came up in the high dollar teacups, but not all of them. And one of the featured artists in this video does some amazing, amazing work. So let me go ahead, let's get started. $770 for one teapot. So up first is this gorgeous hummingbird teapot. It is pretty cool because the hummingbird is actually on the spout and the tulips are the handle. So this is a vintage teapot in Kona, hummingbird tulips kettle, white with red, green, and blue. This one was an auction. And throughout this video, I will let you know if they are auction or buy it now. This one was an auction, got 45 bids and sold for $770. So here you can see that teapot up close, beautiful handle there with the tulips, as well as that hummingbird on the spout where it pours out. And also I wanted to show you here on the handle, it does have a patent number there in the handle and this almost looks like it might be plastic i am not sure but if you look here on the bottom of the teapot it is enamel and it actually has a chip there on the bottom of the teapot and it still got 45 bids and sold for 770 dollars up next is a Heron, which is a brand that does bring high dollar quite often. So this Heron is unusual. So when you are looking at teapots, look for stuff that is unusual because a lot of times that could mean big money. This is a Heron Red Dynasty Godolo teapot with rare lizard handles and spouts. This one sold for $730. And here up close, you can see the handle, the spout, and the lid on this are lizards. Little green lizards that are super cute. Here's a look at one of them a little bit more closely. Great detail on that. And I do want to show you here on the bottom, this one is clearly marked Heron Hungary. It was hand painted. And then it also has a signature on it. That was a great sale, one teapot for $730. Up next is another brand that we come across quite a bit, and that is Sevre. And this one was a great sale as well. This is a Sevre hand painted butterflies, holly, and berries, cerise pink, and gold coffee pot it was dated 1869 they accepted a best offer on a 795 dollars asking price and here you can see that teapot up close a beautiful beautiful butterfly and holly berries there with the pink and here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked sebre and that was a great sale at almost 800 dollars all right, up next is a brand that we come across quite a bit in the high dollar teacups, and that is Shelly. And the teapots are no exception. They can bring a lot as well. This is a Shelly Dainty Mauve teapot, sold for a best offer on $850. Here you can see it up close, beautiful draping, 
purple floral bouquet there on the top with the lid as well as the top of the teacup teapot and here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked fine bone china shelly and it also has the name dainty mauve which is the name of the pattern and that was a great sale at 850 dollars all right up next are two by a name i wasn't familiar with and that is sweeter creations and i look them up it looks like they did sell on etsy they have no active listings but you need to remember some of these handmade etsy items of today are going to be the collectibles of tomorrow so if stuff is different and unique i say still pick it up if you can keyword it so the next two are actually from sweeter connections they were the same seller i don't know if they bought them for their personal collection or they might have found them at a yard sale or estate sale we do not know but these definitely would have caught my eye and I hope they would have caught yours. This is a handmade Beetlejuice inspired teapot. This one they did put on auction. It got 13 bids and sold for $860. So here you can see this teapot up close. It says, I myself am strange and unusual and i wanted to zoom in look at the spout of this it is just absolutely crazy there is so much going on there and on the bottom you can see it is definitely handmade you can see the sweeter creations on the bottom and that was a great sale on auction 13 bids and 860 dollars all right there was not just one of them there were two and this next one is not beetlejuice inspired but it does go along those black and white lines of graffito and i'm going to show you it now this is a sweeter creations they do have ooak if you do not know that stands for original one of a kind floral graffito this was another auction this one got 28 bids and sold for the same price eight hundred and sixty dollars here up close you can see the great detail on the black and white with the flowers there are sunflowers lots and lots of detail on this one and again auction 28 bids and sold for eight hundred and sixty dollars up next is a wedgwood most wedgwood is not worth a lot of money because it was mass produced so supply and demand you know if there's a lot made typically the prices aren't going to be high however the lilac color wedgwood was not made as much and therefore it does command a higher price just like the set did this is an antique wedgwood pale lilac jasperware this is a complete tea set it was a teapot creamer and sugar bowl this one sold for buy it now on 879 dollars here you can see that set up close beautiful beautiful light light lilac on that and i did want to show you on the bottom because these are one of the few wedgwood jasperware pieces i do not see the stamp on it it is normally stamped into it so beware that some of them might not be marked because that was a great great sale at 879 dollars all right this next one i believe was also in my high dollar teapot video from a year ago and that is a versace medusa teapot this is a versace rosenthal medusa amplified orange coin teapot they did put that they are an official seller this one sold for a best offer on 856 dollars here you can see this teapot up close this is a smaller teapot really really cool rendering of medusa and that was a great sale at over 850 dollars Right. the next name comes up in almost every high dollar video that i do and i do have a complete playlist of videos just like this on different subjects this next one is hermes this is an authentic hermes pivonese teapot sugar pot and milk pitcher set this one sold buy it now for 899 dollars 
here you can see that set up close really really pretty with a large pink flower there on the teapot and then you've got the buds and halfway open on the creamer and sugar and I did want to zoom in close here so you can see on the outside of this teapot it does say Hermes and it also here on the bottom is clearly marked so you would definitely be able to identify it if you were to find one of these don't be surprised they are out there they are rare but they are out there and that was a great sale at eight hundred and ninety nine dollars all right we are moving up and we are moving up to teapots that sold for over a thousand dollars for a single teacup this next one no surprise has mickey mouse it is a disney rendering and this one sold for almost eleven hundred dollars this is a sculptural postmodern peter shire ceramic teapot disney mickey mouse memphis this one sold for a thousand and ninety five dollars and here you can see that teapot up close it's almost like a bumblebee line on that with that white and black great lines on this and here you can see it with the lid off again amazing amazing lines on this piece and here on the bottom i do want to show you the mark i'm not sure if that is a peter shire signature or how that seller identified it that was a great sale at almost eleven hundred dollars all right up next is not a teapot it is a coffee pot but i don't disagree with how the seller listed it so personally when i sell chocolate pots i also will put teapot to try and reach more buyers and that is exactly what they did this next one is an rs prussia which this is another brand that a lot of them were mass produced and the value is just simply not there however if you find that outstanding detailed piece it could be worth quite a bit this is another one that sold for almost eleven hundred dollars this is a 19th century rs prussia iris mold season winter portrait gilt coffee or teapot this one sold for a thousand and ninety nine dollars i wanted to show you up close here beautiful beautiful portrait as well as gold gilt on this one and on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked rs prussia so easy to identify very very detailed on this one and a great sale at almost eleven hundred dollars all right up next is an item and this happens every it seems like every teacup or teapot video I come across something that is not a teacup or a teapot but I feel like I would be remiss if I did not share it with you this is a little harmony kingdom statue that sold for over twelve hundred dollars this is a harmony kingdom they do call it a teapot angel because she is holding her cup of tea shaggy dog and angel they did put baroque sold for twelve hundred and thirty five dollars so here you can see the angel up close holding her teacup and on the bottom this harmony kingdom is not actually marked harmony kingdom but they do all have that certain look once you have found one or two you will definitely be able to recognize them so this one has that signature it is a small piece and it sold for twelve hundred and thirty five dollars up next is another Shelly. This is one of my favorite Shelly patterns. This one is Lily of the Valley. Single teapot sold for over $1,200. This is a Shelly Dainty Lily of the Valley teapot or coffee pot. So this technically is a coffee pot. You can remember what is a teapot and what is a coffee pot by the nursery rhyme. I'm a little teapot short and stout. So a teapot is not tall and thin like this this is a coffee pot they did put rare vintage and antique it sold for twelve hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see that teapot or coffee pot up close with beautiful lily of the valley flowers and i did want to show you here from the top very very thin streamlined coffee pot and on the bottom this is another one 
that is marked clearly with Shelley England as well as the pattern which is Lily of the Valley. That was a great sale coming in close to $1,300. Up next is a teapot that is not a Sevre. It is Sevre style. So sometimes the style and that can be considered keyword spamming but it got it sold and it sold high. This is a French Sevres style hand painted pink porcelain kettle. This one's really cool. It has a stand with it. It has a courting couple scene. This one sold for $1,250. Here you can see it up close. Amazing, amazing courting couple scene as well as beautiful gold trim. And here they are separately. So both the stand and the teapot are absolutely gorgeous in this set. And that was a great sale at $1,250. Up next is a pottery artist that is absolutely amazing. I did pull up her website. It looks like she is not creating anymore as of 2017, but you can go to her website. Her name is Annette Corcoran beautiful beautiful work this next teapot sold for a really really great price this is an annette corcoran studio pottery bird teapot they did accept a best offer on thirteen hundred dollars and this is a beautiful scarlet ibis and here you can see it up close amazing amazing work by this artist and i did want to show you on the bottom here this one says scarlet ibis this one was done by her in 1990 so by her website it only shows work starting in the year 2000 so this is one of her older pieces and it is absolutely gorgeous now when i search for her on ebay i'm only seeing one other teapot by her available and it was done in 89 and that one is listed at 1400 dollars however this one sold for 1300 all right we have got another hermes for you hermes equals money pretty pretty simple there is not much hermes that does not command a good price this is an Hermes teapot Passifolia green botanical floral tableware ornament. They did put authentic and new. This one sold for $1,340. Here you can see it up close. Great foliage and flower pattern on this one. Almost an all over print with the exception of the handle, the lid, and the spout. And that was a great sale at $1,340. All right, up next is an Ainsley, and it is actually an Ainsley Orchard pattern. I have sold Ainsley Orchard teacups, and they only sell for around 100 to 200. However, if you are lucky enough to find the teapot, it will bring over $1,000. This is a vintage Ainsley Orchard Gold Harvest, sold for $1,250. And the teacups that I had were signed by J.A. Bailey. I don't see it notated in this title or on the teapot. Here you can see that design up close. And again, on the bottom, all Ainsley's are clearly marked. And that was a great sale at $1,250. All right, I showed you a lilac Wedgwood earlier in the video. And this is another Wedgwood, and it's actually another unmarked early Wedgwood piece and it's sold for really really good money. This is a rare antique early Wedgwood pearlware chrysanthemum large teapot. They did put English circa the 1800s. This one sold for Australian dollars 2200 which is equal to 1433 dollars us and this one you can see here up close beautiful beautiful it almost looks like a lotus flower to me versus a chrysanthemum but great great pattern on this one and i wanted to show you again on the bottom this is another wedgwood that is not marked but still sold for over fourteen hundred dollars all right 
up next is a Royal Albert and this is one of my favorite patterns and this one also was on the video from a year ago so this one is definitely hold this one has definitely held its value this is a Royal Albert Senorita this is a Royal Albert Senorita 32 ounce teapot it sold for $1,600 and here you can see it up close. I love this pattern for the gorgeous black lace on the top. Single pink red rose. And on the bottom, again, clearly marked Senorita, which is the pattern as well as Royal Albert. And a great sale at $1,600. All right, up next is one of my favorite things. I haven't had a ton of them lately, but that is Flo Blue. And this is actually a damaged teapot that was on auction and still sold for over $1,600. This is a vintage floral Staffordshire 13 and a half Flo Blue paneled teapot. I might have to argue that might be a coffee pot, but it got 11 bids, sold for $1,688. Here you can see it up close beautiful flow blue on that and I did want to zoom in here to show you that crack and repair so on the spout it is clearly broke off and been glued back on and here on the bottom there is no marking on this one and this one still got 11 bids and sold for $1,688 all right, this next one is a princess and a dragon. So there are a lot of mythical and mystical teapots that can bring really good money. This one was made in 1976. This is a princess and dragon teapot by Jim Rump. This does say Mind Circus 1976. It was signed rare and vintage it sold for eighteen hundred and ninety nine dollars now here you can see the princess and the dragon up close i am not drawn to this type of thing i cannot lie this is not my my thing but i would still sell it now here on the bottom you can see it is signed rump 76 it also has mine circus 1976 and that was a great sale coming in at almost nineteen hundred dollars all right now we're gonna step it up a little bit and i'm gonna show you some teapots that sold for over two thousand dollars this is a rare 1930s shelly art deco dainty flower handle this is a miniature teapot. This is a small one. It got 23 bids and sold for $2,402. Do not discount those miniatures, my friends. They can bring more money than their full-size counterparts. And here you can see this one up close. Pretty simple design here with the green and the small yellow flowers. And on the bottom, I want to show you again, clearly marked with the Shelly marking and that was a great sale getting 23 bids and selling for $2,402. All right this next one is another coffee pot but this one's a really big one and it's copper. I never would have expected a copper piece to sell for over $2,000 but this one did. This is a monumental antique large hammered forged copper kettle teapot it is european this one sold for a best offer on twenty five hundred dollars it is 16 inches tall this is a very very tall teapot or kettle i did want to zoom in and show you the detail on this pot absolutely beautiful beautiful work there and then i did want to show you the bottom so it does have some charring on it it is not marked and that one still sold for twenty five hundred dollars all right up next is a name i'm very familiar with and that is elsa peretti for tiffany however i did not expect to see a ceramic teapot by elsa peretti for tiffany I didn't even know that existed, but it does, and it sold for $2,500. All 
This is an Elsa Peretti for Tiffany & Co. terracotta teapot. They did put very rare archival piece and here you can see it up close. A very, very mid-century modern look on this terracotta teapot. And on the bottom, just like the jewelry and the silver that you find, it is signed Elsa Peretti for Tiffany & Co. It was made in Italy and that was a great sale at $2,500. All right, I didn't put a ton of Oriental in this video because I'm not very good at identifying which ones might be worth money. But I did want to put at least one in here so that if you see some Oriental teapots, you give them a second look and try to maybe research them a little bit. This next one sold for over $2,600. This is a wonderful Chinese blue and white crock porcelain teapot. It does say Wanli Jing De Zin from 1600. This one sold for $2,640. Here you can see it up close. Definitely can see some age and wear on this. And I wanted to show you this seller actually found this teapot in a book and they took a photograph of the page of the book. So if you can find the provenance in a book or you're able to research it and find it, definitely include that information for your buyers. And this one was a great sale at $2,640. All right, we are up to our top five selling teapots for the last three months in 2023. Two of them are by the same amazing, amazing artist, but these are gonna these are gonna blow your mind let me go ahead and show you the first one this is a super rare teapot number 143 blue fluted ruby red pink and gold this one is a royal copenhagen this one got 21 bids on auction and sold for twenty eight hundred and twenty seven dollars here you can see this royal copenhagen up close i really really love these are kind of streamlined designs i feel like they're minimal yet still impressive and i did want to show you here on the bottom clearly marked royal copenhagen with the three blue waves both on the bottom of the teapot as well as the lid and that was a great sale again 21 bids selling for 2827 dollars all right, up next is a really, really cool Art Deco wood handled teapot and it brought an amazing, amazing price. So definitely look at how these top four look and keep it in mind when you are outsourcing. This is a gorgeous rare Art Deco Pui for Cat Eppelson Sterling teapot. So this is a solid sterling silver teapot. People have found these in the wild at estate sales. It does happen. This one sold for a best offer on $2,950. Here you can see that teapot up close. Amazing sterling with wood handle and lid. And here it is looking down. This one is in absolutely immaculate condition. And I did want to show you the markings here on the bottom that are stamped in for Eppelson & Co very very clearly marked you would be able to look those up and that was a great sale at almost three thousand dollars all right these next two in the top three are both by the same artist these are by mitchell grafton they have been in the top selling teapot videos before and this artist is absolutely amazing they're located in panama city florida here in my home state really really amazing there were quite a few more over the last 90 days i just put two of them in for you to show you really really stunning work this is a blue cat pottery teapot sculpture folk art this artist does sell these their self. They are put up on auction. This one got 25 bids and sold for 
$550. Absolutely great sale. Here up close you can see the details on the cat. The whiskers are made of metal. Really, really cool piece. And I actually, this one was an auction. Again, it got 25 bids. I wanted to look and tell you. I, I do not often because it would add a ton of time. But I want to let you know, it looks like this artist starts the teapots out at $250. So this one went over $3,200 above that starting price, which is absolutely amazing. And that was a great sale at $35.50. All right, the next one is another one by Mitchell Grafton. This one is a Cheshire Cat. This is a Wonderland Cheshire Cat teapot, Art Pottery by Face Jug Maker, Mitchell Grafton. This is another auction. This one got 32 bids and sold for $4,050. I'm not sure how many teapots they have made over the years, but keep these in mind. You know, one day you might run into them at an estate sale. Amazing, amazing work. This one, here you can see it up close. I wanted to show you the detail on these is absolutely flawless. And that was a great sale. Again, 32 bids for $4,050. All right, we are up to our top selling teapot. And this one is solid sterling silver. This is an antique teapot, Mayhi Export. Asian Dragon, Japanese Silver, Konoki Yokohama. This one sold for, buy it now, $9,750. Now here you can see this up close, the detail on these dragons, on the teapot, the handle, the spout, the lid. This is just amazing. It is an absolutely amazing teapot. And here on the bottom, I wanted to show you, it clearly is marked pure silver. So this one slipping by in an estate sale probably will not happen. It does say the artist's name, Y. Kanoki. And it does say where it was made, which was Yokohama, Japan. And this is our number one selling teapot. Almost $10,000 for one teapot. Great sale at $9,750. All right, I wanna thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have enjoyed the research video. I love making these. I love learning new names, new artists, new makers, seeing what is trending for those high dollars right now. All of these makers have lower dollar stuff. So you could still find a couple hundred dollar teapot by Shelly, for example. So keep these names in mind. If they have these higher dollar ones, most of their pieces are probably going to be worth a decent amount. And the goal of this video is just to help you learn, educate you, and hopefully you gain some knowledge. So if you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, share with your friends if you think they would like it. I appreciate you watching. I do have a whole playlist of research videos if you're interested in learning about other things or watching the older teapot videos as well. I thank you for your support and for watching and I will see you on the next one.